All right, so I've got my coffee. I'm ready to go. Here we go. Escrow accounts, what are they? Well, escrow is a misleading word at best. Um, and it's a funny word because it actually has <clears throat> different connotations depending on who you're talking to. In general, escrow accounts are a deposit of funds, of deeds, of documents, or assets from one party that is contractually obligated to another party. The account is managed by a third party person who is independent from the tr transaction. There's a disinterested party, like a title company. The most common form of real estate, or the most common form of escrow accounts, are the ones that are used in real estate transactions. All right? So escrow accounts can be many, many different things. We deal with them in the world of real estate conveyance. But even inside of real estate conveyance, there are multiple different meanings for the word escrow. In the mortgage world, escrow accounts, sometimes you hear them called impound accounts, is usually established by the lender to hold money to pay certain bills or expenses on behalf of the borrower of their money. All right? So they will collect money in an escrow account or an impound account for such things as real estate taxes, homeowners insurance, and they will pay those into that impound or escrow account on a monthly basis as part of their, finger quotes for those of you at home, house payment. So when people say, hey, my house payments are escrowed, what they're saying is part of their monthly payment goes into these impound accounts that are held by the lender, which I don't necessarily agree that they may be a disinterested party, but that's neat nonetheless. And then that lender will pay the borrower's real estate tax bill when it comes due every year, semi-annually, quarterly, however the state that you're in pays that. They will also use a separate escrow account for like homeowner's insurance. And when that homeowner's insurance bill comes due, which is typically an annual basis in that case, they will pay that homeowner's insurance for the borrower's work. So in this term, we get the word mortgage or in the mortgage person, when they talk about escrow, they are talking about impound accounts typically. Now the second way escrow can be used and in the real estate realm, a lot of times they use these to hold earnest money. Uh, a broker may have a escrow account that they collect earnest money for a deal to use as earnest that the buyer has deposited with the seller's representative, i.e. the listing agent, as proof to show that they are earnest in completing the deal. So there's a second term for that. Now, here's another term, and this is what we are literally going to be talking about today. The entire process of closing is called escrow. So sometimes in your world, in the title producer's world, you will hear it called opening escrow. That means beginning the procedure for doing the closing, whereby the attorney or a title company is the one that is the disinterested third party between the seller and the buyer and they will in fact hold all of the documents like the purchase agreement, the seller's disclosure, plus they can hold the earnest money so they can have monies in there. So in the context of escrow, it can be used as an impound account if you're speaking to mortgage lenders. It could be used the bank account that real estate agents use to hold earnest money, or it could be the entire process and some states like North Carolina, South Carolina, actually close with attorneys 
and they call it opening escrow, meaning they are going to start the process of the closing. And they call it, where here I know most of us call it, well, I gotta get the preliminary title or the TBD title, and I'm gonna, you know, uh, have a closing. Well, that whole process is opening escrow. So today we are going to be discussing escrow issues, meaning the entire process from the inception of the initial ordering to the actual closing is the escrow by which we are going to be discussing today. All right, any questions? Okay, can you say it again a little louder? All right, now those of you at home probably can't hear that because I can barely hear it. The question was, is the title work considered escrow? Um, the title work is one portion of escrow. Think of escrow when someone says I'm opening escrow, that means they are starting the process to close. <laughs> We're starting to close, which is different than closing to start. Um, so we're going to start the process and that typically involves, like I say, a series of events where there may be initial title work ordered, then you submit the purchase agreement, then you, you know, you, the borrower wires in the funds, then the seller may uh, give documentation to the title company to get the payoff or the lien release, then you actually go and settle up the, the funds. That whole process is deemed as escrow, all right? So when they say I'm opening escrow or escrow was opened, that means they have started the process by which they need to close the real estate transaction, all right? If you have more questions, email me. Or for those of you at home, Raymond at realuniversity.com. Um, if you've got other questions, we can follow them up. I hope that helps. Yeah, title work is just one step in this whole process called escrow. All right, we'll be right back.